I hate you, Jordan. He does this every Jordan. game. He does this every Jordan. game. I typed his name in. I typed Jeff George twice. Dog. Oh. You just killed the greatest guess ever. <laughs> hey, George. Damn, does this every we got game. double points. You remember when I? That's the David that Robinson. That was a double point. You remember we gave us uh, David Robinson, but it was David Thompson. The yeah. One this cat be doing. Hey. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a, another episode of Barbershop Break Room, episode number 75, right? Five? Sure. Sounds good. 75? Fellas, let's jump right into it. I want to talk about one media person. Some people like him. Some people can't stand him. Some people think he's corny. I actually kind of like the dude. Thanks. Robert Griffin the Third. He thinks <laughs> Caleb Williams should pull an Eli Manning. Are we all familiar with what Eli Manning did? We are. Yeah. Well, the young bucks in the room. Yes. Yes. Okay. Eli Manning didn't want to be drafted by a certain team, blah, 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 blah. God so, drafted, demanded a trade. Yes. yes. So he is encouraging Caleb Williams to do the same. That would really fuck the Bears. It would. But do you know the team that he's saying that he should go to? No. A team that'll take care of him. Washington. <laughs> now. <laughs> So RG3 just wants Caleb Williams to do the same thing as him. So listen, I'm a little confused by this. If I'm not mistaken, we can go back and revisit some teams, revisit some rosters. This may be one of the best rosters for a rookie quarterback that will be drafted one overall to step into. Absolutely. You have two number one receivers, a very good running back, eh. offensive line, but... They still have the ninth got the pick. draft. He still got the, what is it, the ninth pick? Yeah, I think yeah. so. They have a top it's 10 pick the the ninth outside of taking you. I, and a, a good defense. Outside of the coach being a bona fide PP. Ah. <laughs> I see no problem with this team right now. I think they should trade the ninth and a second or something and go back up. <laughs> And get more. Or we'll get more. Or Marv. Malik Neighbors. Yeah, I mean, one of those two. At nine, they could be looking at the a combo. Three? They don't need another receiver, <laughs> though, bro. <laughs> I mean, if you really want Caleb to succeed, <laughs> you give him everything you can. But I, mean, I feel like, yeah, it's cool. You got all them weapons downfield, but he got to have time to wait for them to get downfield. Exactly. Sure, yeah, still got I mean, agents. I'm sure they. They're going to draft some We linemen. just running bubble screens and screen passes, hey, end arounds. Do you remember DJ Moore's first catch in the preseason? Yeah. What was it, like a 75-yard bubble screen? Yeah. What do had, like, I'm just looking at Washington's roster. Remember, we struggled immensely on our last TikTok to figure out who we would take from Washington's roster to put on our team. All right? By the way, Jordan, we got to talk about that. What is more attractive about Washington than Chicago for RG3 to say this? Take care of him there? more. Take care of him more. They didn't even take care of you, I was about you, to say, RG3. they didn't take care of you, <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. Like, what, yeah. what are we talking about? Like, look, look, like, you want this dude to end up exactly like you? I'm confused. I mean, Me too. I mean, I know Chicago is a poverty franchise, but like, at least they got some guys now. Yeah, they got a lot of guys now. Listen, that team is way more respectable. And especially if you, now, want, to compare, yeah. if you want to compare it to Washington, come on, bro. That, Washington, that before they traded all their defensive players away, had a little bit of an argument. They had a nice defense. Because their defense was good. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you look Other at... Other than that... They have Terry McLaurin. Wah, they have... A, wah, I don't want to say a two-headed monster running back. They have a good dual backfield. Yeah, an <laughs> average dual backfield. Yeah, they have a good dual backfield. Outside of that, uh, you're kind of scraping the barrel here. Yeah, I don't know who their number two receiver is right now. Well, it was, it Curtis, was Curtis Samuel. Samuel. Um, He's gone. What's my dude's name? Oh, Jahan, Jahan Dotson. Dotson. Yeah, yeah, Jahan Dotson. Ch yeah. And I'm I'm just Had thinking about fantasy. it, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> I don't know what RG3 is thinking here. Like, they didn't take care of you. What makes you think they're, they're going to all of a sudden just take care of Caleb Williams? Like, I know it's his hometown. Does but Dan Snyder still own them? No, he was forced to sell them. Okay. He was oh, they got Austin Eckler. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're looking at this roster, and you're like, What? I'm going to pull up Jamison Crowder, Terry McLaurin, Brian Pringle. I mean, they still have Curtis Samuel on here. So now nah, he goes. So some of these so guys, some Sam of these Howell's guys on there not still. Even be, yeah, won't even be. I guess that's considered oh, no, they the, took Sam the very last game. Jake fucking from <laughs> is crazy. That's bro. who D-Bake said he'd take. He's you, well, while we're talking about who D-Bake take, do you want to address who you decided to take? <laughs> 
Emmanuel, Emmanuel Forbes, Forbes bro. Forbes. We could have grabbed Terry McLaurin. Yeah, you guys we got, need a receiver yeah, bad as fuck. Either oh, Mike Williams. Williams. <laughs> you about to sign who? We better Mike not. Mike Williams. So we're why? So he could watch. Stephon Diggs. I don't want Justin Jefferson. I don't want to see Mike Williams standing on the <laughs> sideline in a hoodie all every every fucking week. <laughs> who you trading well, for Justin Jefferson now? You ain't got no. Capital. I have no idea. But you I got no what? That. Capital. Capital gain. <laughs> Draft capital. Player capital. <laughs> we got know. picks. All I know ah, is I've seen... Not enough for JJ. CT ESPN. Oh, God. That's <laughs> your source now. And they, they called some shit out. Yeah, like, so, so did, did Matt. <laughs> yeah. Matt yeah. called out both yeah. quarterbacks. I'm gonna... calling out Justin Jefferson to the Steelers, too. So now we're dual on it. That's crazy. I mean, listen. All right, so where are we going now? What do we... I feel like... We're kind of at a stalemate. I kind of want to hear your oh, Steelers. I was, I was going to keep going, but, but yeah, go ahead. Never mind. No, no, no. We can keep going. I, just, I was going to pull up the roster that RG3 had to prove that they did oh, not, in yeah, fact, cool. protect him at all. But don't worry about it. No, we can move on because this is just a this was just a little fluffer topic. Like, we can get to the bracket stuff. Hey. Oh, we want to, you want to explain? I want to see RG3's roster with the the commanders. Yeah, so his very first year, right? Yeah. Is that what we were 2012, that was his best year. Is that what we were Yeah, his rookie season was his best year. I mean... So Alfred Morris was his number one back. Not terrible. Not terrible. What did he rush for? Because he had sixteen ninety from scrimmage. Oh, uh, okay. We'll see. Uh, oh, these are receiving. I'm gonna pull up on my phone oh, so I'm not breaking. How my much neck. did Whew. RG three eight fifteen? No, 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 no. Alfred Morris sixteen hundred. No rushing. Sixteen hundred. Oh, I thought that was just yards from scrimmage. No, that's sixteen hundred. Uh, receive or it's rushing. rushing and receiving. No, receiving's all the way over here. That literally says rushing and receiving. Yeah, rushing is this one. Oh, okay. And receiving is seventy-seven yards. <laughs> yeah, RG3 that's is, crazy. RG three is crazy. That's so they crazy had Alfred head. Morris who rushed for sixteen hundred <laughs> yards, seventeen hundred pretty much, yeah, and thirteen touchdowns. And he he, he had no receivers yeah. though. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Garcon is his best receiver. And he had 633 yards and four touchdowns. Yeah. Is Pierre even on this list? Yeah, he's yeah, at the he very is. top right here. And oh, then, Pierre goes on right there. Yeah. And then his okay. second receiver was Santana. Josh Morgan. Uh, Santana, Santana Moss, Moss, Josh Morgan. Josh <sighs> Morgan's fourth on this list for receiving yards. This in list is rough. Brandon, I remember Brandon oh, I'm on, Banks. I'm on you might a year ahead. I'm on 2012, 10 and 6 year. But either way, I'm sure most of those teams. Yeah, they're yeah. 10 and 6. Yeah, that roster ain't that special. I mean, outside of Trent Williams and Alfred Morris, RG3, I have a question. Who did he they had, bring in to protect you? He had Trent Williams and he still got killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, I'm curious to like what. Yeah, what are we doing here? What What's the plan here? Like, I, I just don't understand. So like, this roster is actually a little bit better than what they have now, I would say. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and, their, and their defense was good then too. And you can even argue that they somewhat. Oh yeah, Lennon Fletcher, D'Angelo Hall. You can say they probably overachieved. Ten and six is a very respectable year, for sure. You know, especially in that division. I mean, I don't remember the, all the teams in that division. That I mean, all the rosters that year, but that division is competitive for the most part. I'm just confused, RG three. But I'm we'll, confused too. We'll put a button on that, Matt. Where are we Why going are next, you? sir? Well, just because we were talking about uh, Alfred Morris's yards, did you guys know the year that uh, CJ two K ran for two thousand yards? He had 500 receiving yards on top of that. Absolutely. He went absolutely that is not. He's the only player with 2,500, only running back with 2,500 all-purpose yards in a season. Dude, he went absolutely nuts That's that year. Crazy. Have you ever watched the highlights from that season? I've seen some of them. When we go like, to the his shop. His usage thing. rate was ridiculous. When we go to the shop, we'll turn that on. It's insane, bro. I've seen him talking about it on a podcast, and they asked him who the number one running back ever was, and he was like, me. Motherfucker, I mean, me in one like, year. It's not, but that year, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, but, you know, there's Emmett. You it's know, a wild there's, boy. There's a lot of people out there you can name, you know, sweetness. Like, <laughs> that, yeah. I don't even think I'm putting him over Marshall Falk, bro. <laughs> but hey, <laughs> that, that's just me. Wild times. Wild times. You want to blow that up? All right, let me pull up a bracket real quick. All right. So look, us as a podcast, we are going to. Fill out a bracket, but we are gonna do it. Uh, how would you say together? Almost like draft style. Yeah, but we ju- we're, we're gonna are go we gonna go snake. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> so we're gonna go one person at a time. So let's just say each take a turn. I'll do the first game, 
and then oh you want Dante to do the first yeah okay so Dante will do the first game Ah, I'll do the second game Derek will do the third game so whatever game lands on you that's when you pick and we're gonna go all we're gonna keep going in a circle all the way until Um, we we get to the national championship stats on who got the most games right on our on our squad oh boy we're gonna see how good our bracket does uh compared to everyone else yeah I'm picking every underdog Oh god! So should we like just fill it out and then we can like just screenshot it and then we can actually yeah, put it in the yeah. Well, I'll we're gonna that. enter this into our bracket challenge actually yeah. as the barbershop break room bracket and then we'll all separately fill out our own brackets as well. Yep. C- CBS is garbage. He should have went to ESPN. Yeah, I know. Okay, so first, first game. game, first pick, Dante Dawson. Who you got? UConn Stetson. Is that the one we on? Yeah. All right. Feel like I got a layup here, guys. I'm going with Stetson. No, I'm just kidding. Give me UConn. All right, UConn. Uh, I am going FAU Northwestern. I'm going FAU. FAU. Next game, San Diego State. UAB, San Diego State. Ooh. San Diego State was good, man. They made it to the Final Four. Oh, no, Auburn, Yale. I'll go Auburn. Ah. How do I feel like <laughs> Yale can beat Auburn? I know. I had picked them. <laughs> All right. Up next, we have BYU and Duquesne. Even though Duquesne had a good year, BYU is better. I'm going with BYU. All right. Illinois, Moorhead State. <laughs> this AB always says he's going with Moorhead State all the way to the chip. Yeah, I mean, I always love Moorhead, but uh, I'm going to go Ow. with Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Uh, that's crazy. Uh, Washington State and Drake. Drake! I, I'm going to take... Drake. Listen, in my bracket, I have Drake beating them. I, I like yeah, a lot of people like call Drake. Drake. Yeah, so. I like I like Drake to beat Washington State. Isn't South Dakota State? Didn't they? Uh, weren't they one of the sixteen one upsets? Because it was two in back to back years, weren't there? They they could have been one. No. St. Petersburg well, was one, I think. I don't think they're going to win this one anyway. So. Good idea. Iowa State. Watch the win. <laughs> so you take. Right, I, let's I, go to the other side. Houston Iowa and Longwood. State. <laughs> Donnie, Donnie loves Longwood. <laughs> Longwood versus Moorhead State in the chip. Wow. So are you going to take Longwood? I'm not taking no Longwood. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to take Houston here. <laughs> <laughs> Nebraska in Texas A and M. Ah. Hey, Tamanaga is crazy, bro. I told you that shot. Was nah, so crazy. I watched it, bro. My dude hit a fuck you three yeah. from deep in the queue to go in a halftime. Well, we'll see you tomorrow, Tom and I'll go Ooh, Texas A&M. Okay. Texas A&M. Oh, I gotta let go. Wisconsin and James Madison. JMU is low-key nice. They only lost three Bro, games. I know. JMU is low-key nice. I'm calling an upset here. JMU. You have to take a 12-5. Yes! <laughs> hey, listen. I'm, hey. Not try- I'm not trying to help you here. <clears throat> Vermont hey, Duke's winning that game. Vermont can beat Duke, bro. I feel like just because James Madison's going to beat Wisconsin, there's not going to be a 12 and a 13 seed in the round of 32 playing each other. Good call, brother. Can we go on with Duke? Okay. Good pick, brother. Then we have Texas Tech. <laughs> <laughs> we have Texas Tech in the red hot. Red and hot C big state. body NC State. Big playing DJ like Burns. some caged dogs. You know what? I'm going NC State strictly because they got two dudes named DJ on their team, and that's my son. Good name. pick, brother. Give me <laughs> NC State to upset Texas Tech, brother. Hell yeah. Good pick, brother. Uh, <laughs> woo, Oakland, baby. Man, oh, man. Oh, Dante, stop just playing, one man. more pick, and you would have been able to. You would have been able to pick your boys. It's cool. Just don't mess it. Up. Don't mess this up. Your boys. Ah. Damn. Don't be disrespectful. Ah. Don't be disrespectful. Ah. <laughs> Don't be disrespectful. All right. Uh, ah. Stop All right, playing, I'll go man. Kentucky. <laughs> Kentucky. <laughs> Can't be disrespectful. Florida, that's either Colorado or Boise State, or who, who are those yeah, two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what the two are? Yeah. Just because I don't know who's going to win that, I'm just going to go Florida. So Yeah, I think yeah Florida's, Flor- Florida's low-key yeah. hot right now. So Florida is hot. I'm, I'm going Florida. Florida's hot. I got to feed the streets. Does Marquette get upset? Yeah. Hell By Western no. Kentucky. Not that would be crazy. Next round no. they will. By Florida. Hey. Did you say your pick? I said I would say no. 
Okay. Oh, okay. They do okay. Not get up to He's got Marquette. Say, okay, you got Marquette. Okay. We'll go back to you. All right, and Donnie. FAU. UConn and the FAU. dogs of Florida Atlantic. Florida Atlantic, our dogs. They made a nice run last year too, right? Hell uh, yeah, they did. Yeah. I think they final went four. crazy last year. Was it Final Four? I don't know if it was Final they Four. They made it pretty fucking far. Maybe Elite Eight. I'm sure it was probably Elite Eight. But uh, yeah, man, I think UConn is just uh, just yeah. too much, man. Wait, is I'm this going... the women's bracket? Stop it. Ain't that where UConn's always sweet? Man, UConn men's won it last year, bro. Stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> Give me UConn over FAU. All right, Matthew. I can't see. You got San Diego State and Auburn. Yep. Ooh. It gets a little tougher there. It gets a little tougher here, boys. Yeah. Um, I, I don't love Auburn. They're hot right now. But I don't believe in San Diego State. Auburn's hot right now. Hot Go right Auburn. Now. Bruce Pearl's dad just died, too. He's ah, he, take he's him coaching. to win it all. He's coaching. Take him to win it all. And he said, you, can't, you can't beat God, he brother. He said his dad was his biggest fan. You can't beat God, brother. You can't beat God, brother. BYU and Illinois. That's going to be a banger. It's mm. going to be a good Illinois one. Illinois is hot right Ooh, now, Illinois too. is 1-4 against the top 25. BYU is 4-5, and five, so they've had tougher competition to play. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the research. I'm going to go BYU here. Okay. Surprise, BYU. surprise. Sorry, Illinois. You're out. Surprise, surprise. I'm going all underdogs. Oh, you went BYU? I'm yeah. going all underdogs. Oh. And uh, BYU just can't keep up athletically. Well, <laughs> Drake's Why would you going this round two. Hey, they have a hey, they have a better record in the top twenty five compared think to Illinois. Matt is alluding to the mass <laughs> amount of Caucasian hey. gentlemen on that roster. Nah, I'm alluding to that. Uh, fuck, what's that guy's name on Illinois? Oh, uh, big dude. No, no. Oh, Shannon. Uh, Shannon. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, crazy. Illinois. Yeah, he's crazy. Dude, the Terrence Shannon. Yeah, he's Dog. crazy. Yeah, he, he's nice. Oh, we forgot. Well, keep going. We yeah, forgot. Uh, uh, just, just kidding. Drake's I'm taking not it on. Illinois. He, he, boy, you moonwalk better than Michael Jackson right there. <laughs> Illinois, sorry. Go ahead, Jordy. Saw Drake is not winning that game. So, what game? Iowa <laughs> State and Drake. Drake. Iowa Goodbye, State. Drake. Iowa State's hot right now. They just knocked off Houston. All right, what's my next game? Houston and Texas A and M. Um, who almost has something crazy. Um, I'm rolling with Houston for a while, so you could probably use your imagination on what I was accidentally about to say. You were going to say you're riding Houston? Nope. Yeah. I'm going Houston. <laughs> All right, Matt. Yeah, FAU did make it to the Final Four last year. Thought they knocked so. off Kansas State to get there. Thought so. I Marquise know. Noel. You got JMU and Duke. JMU and Duke. <gasps> dude, you know what, dude? I don't know, dude. <laughs> Do it. Give me JMU, brother. Uh, <laughs> no. No. This is a tough game. Danny's right going to hate me for this that This is a one. tough game right here. NC State and Kentucky. Tough game Woo! right here. Tough game. Ah, well, Big tough game. DJ ah, Burns ah. energy. I know Dante wants me to take Kentucky. Now, listen, I'm going to be honest with you, so bro. So take NC State. Kentucky oh, 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 oh. is five and two against the top twenty-five. Two and four for NCSU. So I'm going to go Kentucky here. Oh, NC State. Bye. Dang. The run ends with Big Blue Nation. Until, B- and they're B- going to lose next round. W. Antonio Reeves, top five draft pick. Yeah, I'm going to take uh, Marquette over Florida. Okay, I like it. Ah, they're on the run too. I can't put a Kentucky in the Final Four again. I do this to myself every year. I do this to myself every year. No, you're on Auburn and UConn. I know, but I'm saying, like, I'm looking at the way the bracket's shaking up, and I'm like... <sighs> oh, they ain't making it out of this round. That's my game. <sighs> I mean, I'm... Yeah, that is your game. <laughs> I'm just saying, for my bracket. If it was UConn, my bra- Auburn. If, if, if it was my bracket, bracket yeah. Uh, sorry, Bruce Pearl, your run ends here. I'm going with UConn. You can't beat God, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you got Illinois and Iowa State. Jamar Hamlin did. Give me Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> Illinois? Yeah. Dang. Derek switched his pick and it like had a ripple effect. Uh, uh-huh. Houston and JMU. JMU, you had your run. It ends here, brother. I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> this is your brother. last game, brother. <laughs> and Kentucky, you're gone as well. Oh, Damn. You've been voted off the island. It's all right. Whew. So these last two, I guess we could probably do together. Nope. Or you? you all right, you two. Go <laughs> for it. Who's for it on? It'd be Dante and, and Matt. You <laughs> two in the final. Knowers. 
And then so for the other side, we'd pick the uh, the final four, the winner. Yeah, we. One of you guys pick the winner, and one of you guys pick the total points. That's crazy. All right, all right. Who's it on? I don't want to pick. It's on Dante, UConn, and Illinois. Give me UConn, brother. UConn. You think they're going back to back? Man, they're going back no, to back. No, they bike. aren't. Bro, that team is squad. Where is Arizona at? They're not on here, bro. Yes, the they bo- are. We haven't done the bottom part of the bracket yet. We've only done the... Oh, brother. The east and the south. Fuck we doing? I'm not going to lie to you. I thought it was good. <laughs> <laughs> me too. I ain't going to lie to you. You had me in the first half. <laughs> All right. I, I was... Hey, Fuck. I was, there's hey, no way North, North number Carolina ones are not in there. Fuck. All right, all right, all right. We, we can hurry up and uh, I forgot that we had the other half. Of the <laughs> <bracket. It's> like, <laughs> there's no way that you or that two number ones go. I think they do from the thing. But give me Houston. OK, <laughs> I completely forgot about that. me, too. So, all right, Jordan, I thought we were scrolling all North the way Carolina down Carolina versus anybody. I think Hogwarts. Oh, it's me. It's me. My pick. I'm gonna go Hogwarts. <laughs> I'm going North Carolina. Is that Carolina. Wagner and Howard? I don't even know. Yeah, bro. it's how Howard won their thing and probably Wagner. Yeah. Howard got my boy that's been in college for eight years though. All right, Jordan. All right, Jordy. It's Derek's turn. Derek just went. He picked North, North Carolina. Carolina. Oh, uh, well, I hate Michigan State, so I'm gonna take Mississippi. Hell State. yeah, that's a good pick. Mich- uh, Mississippi State's rolling. St. Mary's and Grand Canyon. Oh, do it. St. Mary's. No. St. Mary's. They don't have the athletic ability to keep up with them. You got <laughs> Grand Alab- Canyon's winning that game. You got Alabama and Charleston. Alabama. I'm gonna take. I really, Grand don't Canyon know. might New go Mexico to the Sweet is nice. New Mexico's not bad. I no. bet against them last year against Ohio State. That's Eddie House's like son, right? New Mexico it. is nasty. Um, Eddie House's son play for no. He plays for San no, Diego. State. New Mexico State is the dude that I sent you that was talking like Pat Mahomes and uh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They oh, are bro. nice, bro. Give what me, is Eddie a, give me a head count. Who you want? New Mexico. New Mexico. All right, we're going New Mexico. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, Matt, tugging on your heart Col- here. Oh, bro, Colgate went to like the Sweet 16 in my bracket. They yeah. ain't beating Baylor. I brushed bro. my teeth Yes, they are, bro. They're not going to they're the gonna, round of 32 they're gonna in shoot, our bracket. They're going to shoot I'm taking the Baylor. lights out of that fucking gym against Baylor. You got Dayton in Nevada. Uh, give me Dayton there. <sighs> Arizona and Long Beach. Arizona. You don't want Long Beach to make it. I see. Purdue's beating... Ah! Whoever the hell they were going to play. Bless you. Oh, you think so? Fucking Instagram. I, uh, I mean, MTST or GR. Ma- that's, Ma- that's Mastagram. Oh, my God. I see. I don't even Mastagram. know. Mastagram. I'm going Purdue on that one. Look at the caption. My dude Russo is at Matt's neck. He just said, good morning, losers. New pod out now. <laughs> He's at Matt over his Philly take. I really want to play this out loud. Is it me? Utah State TCU. No, it's me. Uh, I'm going to take TCU. Good call, brother. Over Utah State. The Purple Peepee Eaters. Gonzaga and McNeese. McNeese hurt. Uh, oh, I've never even heard of that. Dude, Gonzaga's lucky they didn't get get like a, a Grand Canyon mm-hmm. or uh, some, I don't think McNeese is that good. But give, Yeah, give me a Gonzaga there. Kansas and Samford. Samford got that dog in them. Don't play with them. Kansas. <laughs> uh, South Carolina and Oregon. Mm. South Carolina. Mm. Creighton and Akron. Uh, you better choose Creighton. Hmm. Akron's not good. Akron's actually, dead to me. At, at all, to be hmm. honest. Well, they beat Kent. Yeah, Kent's Akron was, is dead Kent to me. Was yeah, by Kent was not supposed to be, the, to bro, be there. It was we an were accidental <laughs> foul that made them yeah. win, bro. Dude thought they were losing. I feel like we don't have enough up, upsets in this. Oh, we, we got a lot. Oh, hell no. Take Creighton. Man, you better take Creighton, bro. I think we don't have take enough upsets. Take Creighton, boy. What's wrong with you? Give me it might be a 20 point game in that Give one. Give me Creighton. It might be a 30 point game in that one. Um, okay, so either oh, Virginia yeah. or CSU. That ain't Cleveland. That ain't Cleveland. Cleveland Colorado, State. Colorado, Colorado State. 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 Like, oh, no, 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 no. Didn't Cleveland State win the horizon? No, <laughs> Oakland did. Oakland did. No, you're good. It's not. It's Colorado State. Um, ah, dude, Texas is low key frauds this year. Um, They'll win that game. Virginia's garbage, too, though. Oh, give me Texas. Oh, baby. Tennessee and St. Peter's. Peter's. Not this year, big dog. We got the great white hope. Dalton. He needs some help. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He got it this year. North Carolina, Mississippi State. I'm not familiar with Mississippi State at all, to be honest. Not bad. Team. They're dogs. They're but playing an SEC. North Carolina's been on a heater. As Derek usually goes in blind, North Carolina's one. Good job. One. Good job, Derek. I'm also going in blind, 
and I hate uh, their football team, so I'm taking St. Mary's over Alabama. Oh, man. Oh, man. Bad shooting game, huh? Mm. That's all it takes. Uh, between Baylor and New Mexico, I'm going to go ahead and take Baylor. Let me get Arizona. Over Dayton. Purdue and TCU. Oh, the end runs here. Hey, Purdue. This, this Zach Eady. Zach Eady. I don't know if I trust you that much. Brother. These cats blew it to Wisconsin. Um, I'm going to do after 24 and 12. Though. I think Purdue is going to win this round. I don't know who's going to have him the next pick, but I don't think they're going to make it out of there. Okay. I'm sur- well, I would they're going to play Kansas. I wouldn't be surprised round, if they don't make Kansas it out of here. Kansas is beating Gonzaga. Oh, yeah. Dickinson and Zach Eady. It's going to be a nice matchup. Uh, South Carolina, Carolina and Creighton. I'm surprised oh. you picked Kansas. <laughs> Who is it? South Carolina. Creighton. South Carolina's been give frauds. Like, South Carolina's only good at home. Give me Creighton. Yeah, Cock Cockknocker. Is there a K? Is there a K in there? Is it Colbrenner or Cockbrenner? C A U L K. So man. <laughs> Cock. You got the battle of the T's it's over like there. It's like Cockbrenner. Tennessee. Oh, you know Texas. who the fuck I'm picking. This guy is riding Tennessee. Big Dalton. The big white hope. North Carolina again, I get to choose. Um, North Carolina over St. Mary's. It is Kalk Brenner. d stupid. He told me it's Kalk Brenner. There's it's Kalk. Yeah, there's a K in there. The yeah. K. Arizona and Baylor, huh? Yes, sir. Well, Arizona. Yeah, you hear that dog barking? I don't know that's, about that. That's Caleb have, Love. Caleb, Caleb Love about to shoot him out of the Here you go, bro. Dante. Purdue and Kansas. All right, man. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Big dick and energy. Sorry, Purdue. <laughs> Hunter Dickinson's going to go ahead and do it. He's doing it. Kansas. He's going to neutralize Zach Eady. I'm just talking. Do shit. you even need to say anything? No, no. I don't got to say shit. Just Tennessee's making let's it. Let's fucking go. Yeah, this guy's smoking work. Then you got North Carolina and Arizona. North Carolina. Oh, revenge game for Caleb oh! Love, which is the storyline. Um, Caleb, ah! Caleb Love Arizona. Caleb Love versus R.J. Davis, the backcourt battle. They were teammates last year. Arizona. Oh, fuck him. Uh, Hunter Dickinson. Your, you can go to hell. <laughs> your march is over. Tennessee is Big going to the Final Four. Dalton Energy. <laughs> Final <laughs> four. Dante, Dante. Dante. UConn or Arizona? Pick em. UConn. Stop playing with me. Ah! Houston and Tennessee tugging on Let's that hard fucking go. Don't you dare say Big Tennessee. Dalton Energy. Don't say Tennessee, yes. bro. The only 10 I see. Bro, he has one off game and they're cooked. So I guess I choose the winner and you choose the, the, the correct score. All right, Derek, how the fuck do I pick the points? I don't know how high scoring it is now. You, we'll you, give you the hints. UConn, yeah, Houston, we'll, Tennessee, and Arizona. Stay in the in between points. 140 and 160. UConn, Tennessee. This is the great white run with <laughs> Dalton Kinnett. Let's fucking Wins it all. go! <laughs> oh god i do not support so how pick. many total points will be all right, scored so i'm looking at their points per game oh god you cheater uh, bro they got the the preview he on needs the help. tournament challenge i mean we're we're a team we I can wanna, cheat together I go off the dome 81 and a half for yukon 79 and a half for tennessee i said stay between 140 and 160 i was pretty close yeah yeah well i'm gonna go 153 one fifty three with Tennessee winning it all. I keep burping up them boiled eggs. So how are we gonna transport this whole bracket? I will. Oh, okay. Trust me, I got oh, it. I Don't worry, baby girl. Hey, I got you. You're not getting another percent for doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, we right. have an activity for the fans. Real it's quick. only ten thirty, guys. Yeah, we're doing good. But I thought when we saw that second bracket, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm going rogue. We got ah. something for you guys. We want you guys to rank your favorite members on a podcast one to four. <laughs> <laughs> one being your favorite, four being your... I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Now they're going to do it. I'm kidding. I'm well, joking. you can put that in with the TikTok. Oh, that, uh, I have. If you All guys right. want to do that now, it's NFL free agency. I know we just played college, uh, college basketball, but... My brain's on college, but let's do it. Sure. I'll close my eyes and get back to NFL. <laughs> Dante, who's winning the tournament? Also, uh... Oh, March Madness? Yeah. Kentucky. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Like who's going on the top yep. of the dome? It's Houston's year. Ooh, dang, Houston's they got out. Of, they just oh, lost to I mean, Iowa. They got out in the Final Four. It's okay. Who's winning? Don't look. It would have been Kent State if Akron uh, didn't Shut get them. But up. who's winning? Um, I don't know. Let me say it. Let just me get. Say uh, just say it. First name. Tennessee. Arizona. Arizona. Yeah, Purdue. Who you got? 
Um, UConn. Oof. Safe back pick. to back. God back damn. Back. But when was the last time there was a back to back? I don't know. Championship. I mean, I, 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 I'm with. I think it could happen. They're the number one overall seed for so the before, second year in a row. Before I do the game, Netflix just announced that this summer they have a new documentary coming out. Last year it was quarterback. This year it's receiver. Running back. Oh yeah, because they couldn't get enough quarterbacks to um, to do it. Devontae Adams, Justin Jefferson, George Kittle, Debo Samuel, and Amon Ross St. Brown. How did they just throw Kittle in there? Hold on. Is this like 1,000% confirmed? He's yes, cool, though. Okay, because I saw a list of quarterbacks that they were supposed to do, and that never happened. Yeah, Ian Rappaport tweeted it. It's officially official only on Netflix. It So they did. They recorded this last year? Or it's recording this year? No. I have no idea. It uh, says yeah. it's this summer. Yeah, during, this summer it's coming out. It was. Yeah. It was. Oh, record, then they did it last year. It was year. recorded the 2023-2024 wow. season. So it's going to be a whole bunch of JJ sitting on the sideline. Yeah, yeah, that's fucked. His recovery. My kid's going to be hyped. That's probably when they picked up George Kittle. He probably got hurt, and they're like, "Oh, we need someone else." MJ's going to be hyped. They are probably already had Debo or already had Kittle, and then just got one of their. Damn! Teammates. Imagine if they had JJ and Tyreek. You'd have every kid in the nation watching that shit. So, okay. Hey, real quick uh, before we go to the next topic. Oh, the Gators went back to back. Oh, Joakim Noah's ho ass. Nah. So before we get to Jordan's game real quick, uh, I just wanted to take a brief moment to uh, <laughs> shout out to one of my favorite players of all time. LeBron James. Derrick Rose. Oh. Sh- you spelled my shout name Shout out to wrong, him. But- Can you see his jersey on the screen, Jordan? Oh, my fucking God. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. Yeah. Okay, so uh, shout out to my boy Derek Rose. Uh, retired. Great career. There was like five to six year span. Like, it was all love. And then even after that, he had some glimpses here and there. Oh, for sure. But like them, yeah. them years, though, I'm a Bulls fan. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, it was just ultimate hype. But I also have a shout, shout out, out to, to him, make. brother. Hitting that game winner. I also have a shout yeah. out to make. Shout out to... The, the Pittsburgh series. Steelers for trading this fucking guy away. <laughs> Poor guy. The guy you guys once loved. He deserves better. Yeah, that's all right. He figured went. To I the, get, he, figured I get one more war, more more wear out of his jersey. He. Uh, you that's all my, right. He got traded to the team that he loved as a kid. So right. You want my Bears Justin Fields jersey? No. And like you could just mash up the jerseys, like take off logos and just <laughs> make a mashup. <laughs> I just don't think that's how it works. I mean, it can. <sighs> all so, right. Go ahead. Hit us with it. TikTok, you guys can play along. You play against Dante, Matt, and Derek in this. You guys have three strikes. Yeah. Play against my balls. It has to do with the NFL offseason. Okay. It is guys who've gotten around. So these are the 14 players in the NFL that have played for the most teams. Oh, shh. Nice. Played for the most the teams? The ones that are black and yellow are double points because I never heard of them, motherfuckers. Current? Um. There's not any current guys on here. I don't believe, unless a couple of the, there's a couple quarterbacks that might still be roaming around. But we'll just whoever has an answer will start with Dante Are and you then move a picture over. Me, Derek? No, I'm staring at oh. the so the graphic. Oh, he sent he it? sent a graphic in. Yeah. Um. You said this is like all time NFL. Yeah. Sheesh. But there's not many players that are like super old. Um, Do a lot I of them like, were in the 90s. So though. you said some are worth double uh, points, the ones in the yellow, and why are they worth double? He didn't, he because never heard I of never them. heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Or they were like, double because I don't know who they are. <laughs> or I've heard of them, but like I really didn't know who they were. Okay. So, all right. Well, Do I have to like say a certain someone or just like, hey, I no, think just, this guy is this? Who's like, just, just throw out a name? And and who? God, let me be first. Well, Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll let Derek go first. Oh, we're working That's as a team. It don't matter who goes first. Oh. It doesn't matter at all. Oh, man. we're working as a team then. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. TikTok's going to go against us. Then I have one. Okay, go ahead. Oh, yeah. At the sure. very top. We get three top, strikes, though. That top middle, you can tell who that is. Yeah, for sure. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Yeah. Yes. So, for sure. it is Ryan Fitzpatrick. He is not a, not a bonus point. Okay, what do you guys think about Josh Johnson? Josh Johnson. You Matt read my mind. Gotta be. What do you think about that, Derek? I think that's a good one. Look at your in the middle, the very middle, number seven. Which one? There's two. In the very the, middle with the helmet on? Adrian the, Peterson? No, no, no. Is that AP? Underneath that? That low key looked like Shady, yeah, too. Underneath the helmet. Shady only played for like three teams. I know. That's what I was. Bills. I think Frank Gore got more teams than Adrian Peterson. Probably. They both have a lot. Ah, Remember, than Adrian? Ah. 
Okay, so hold on. We got. I don't think Frank Gore has more than Adrian. So you got Vikings, Vikings. Lions, Lions, Seahawks, Commanders, Washington. Commanders. Come on, come on, come on. Hold on, I'm thinking. He's had to play with someone else. Saints. Oh, Saints. That's five. So did you just cut the list off at five? Because there's probably a lot of players. The list I was looking at, it was 14 players and it ended at five. I have no idea if anybody's tied with fifth, though. It gave me one player with five. I think Frank Gore. Okay, go through Frank Gore. Niners. Colts. Jets. Colts. Buffalo. Mm -hmm. The Jack. I'm trying to look at their picture, too. Ah, this is tough. It's like hard to tell. I don't think Frank Gore's on his list. Looking at these pictures. Yeah, I don't think any of them. That number seven in the middle just looks like, look, he looks weird. All right, so do we want to guess Josh Johnson? Or like. Go for it. Don't make me say it. It don't matter who gets I mean, the guess wrong. Yeah, we are all, all agreeing. But like, I, I'm going to say it. Like, God damn it, Dante, you fucking missed it. We are literally telling Josh you. Josh Johnson. Josh Johnson is the, the second point. row all the way on the left. Okay. With seven teams. Okay. You knew who that was? Okay. Because we talk about him playing for yeah, on, every team. On Weddle, we okay, talk okay. about it all the time. I didn't time. know if you knew who that was. Well, um, who's, your, who's your boy to choice guessing Weddle? That's play, I mean, a grid challenge that's played for everybody. Um, quarterback, older, Kitna. Didn't Kitna play? No, he didn't play for a lot of teams? No, nah, Cowboys, Lions. There's somebody you love guessing because they play for a lot of teams. I thought it was Kitna, maybe. I do guess Kitten all the time, but I just, you know, do. I just know he plays for the Cow- he played for the Cowboys, the Bengals, and the Lions. There's somebody you always guess because they play for a ton of teams. Uh, is Brandon me... Marshall, you think, on this list? Brandon Marshall has played. Ah, uh, hold on. Uh, Jets. I'm looking at the bottom left. He kind of looked like Brandon Marshall a little bit, but I don't. You know, know. what? I think that is Brandon Marshall's picture. At 16. the very bottom. Okay. bottom yeah, bottom left. left. Okay, so look, Jets, with the hair, Bears, he had Bengals. he had like the dreads that were a little. Uh, no, I think you're right. Is hey five at the very bottom? Is that Le'Veon? <laughs> That's Le'Veon. That, he looks like Le'Veon, but did Le'Veon play with five teams? Chiefs. That Ravens, dude's got a mohawk. Jets. Steelers. Steelers. Oh my god, he did. That's Le'Veon. That's Le'Veon. Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell. <laughs> Let's go. Is. The very bottom player with five teams. You forgot the Buccaneers. Ah, okay. that was another one. Do we want to guess Brandon Marshall? I think Marshall? that, no, that's Brandon Marshall next to Le'Veon. I think you're right. Brandon Marshall. That is Brandon Marshall next to Le'Veon. We know ball, bro. Let's go. I'm like, it looks like him. All right, so we I got Fitzpatrick, Johnson. Yeah, let me X these out on my, uh, I'm going to screenshot and X these out. What so, about a Joe Tipman? Tipman? No, he did not. I could tip for Titwick. The guy on the very top right looks like Batista, but I know he didn't play in the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> I will say you got a couple guys that have played on the Cleveland Browns on this list. Can we get like some positions maybe? Like yeah. Maybe when we start struggling? Yeah, um, I can give them to you right now. You have all quarterbacks and one running back. All quarterbacks. Okay, so we got Jeff Garcia. And one running back? Is that running back in the very middle? I will not answer any questions. Seven and in the middle is definitely a running back. Hey. I see his neck. Once it hits uh, 10.55, we got to call it quits on this because we can't just have March Madness in this to be It's only 10.44. We're good. Um, We did RG3, too. Um, Ah, Man, that's a tough one. All right, so quarterback. How many teams did Jeff Garcia play for? Has he played for a lot of teams? Probably. The Niners, the Browns. Um, He played for the Buccaneers or am I high? Yeah, but I think that's about it. Mm. Oh, okay, so who else are we thinking of? That uh, running back might be Frank Gore, bro. You want to run it? I don't know. I don't know if AP played for more teams or if he played for more teams, though. Hey, we can't sit here forever. I said run Frank Gore. Uh, Frank Gore played for, I think, five. And then what? did we get four or five for AP? Five? Should, who? AP? Yeah. Around the same. Vikings, Seahawks. Saints. Saints. I think AP. Lions. Lions. I think AP played for more. Who? Commanders. Oh, Commanders. I say AP, bro. That looks like AP. That's what I said, motherfucker. Yeah, I say run AP. All right, go with Adrian Peterson. It is Adrian Peterson. That's your one running back off the board. That's in the middle, right? Yeah. And the rest are quarterbacks? 
Yes. Okay, we're fucked. Holy shit. Bro, that guy was six. Loki kind of looks like Tom Brady. And Tom Brady only played for two teams. Yeah. You think my dude that always guessed old long neck Mike Glennon on here? He don't play for two teams. Josh McCown. Oh, oh, McCown duh. for sure. Josh McCown. Josh McCown. Which one is he? He is the number one. Top left. That's top him. Top left with Yeah, yeah. yeah I know yeah. that picture. It's crazy because you can see the picture as That's, soon as you so know that. So I made this with part. the pictures to try and help you guys yeah. out a little bit too. Okay. Um, but yes, that was Josh McCown. Who do you think that top right is? That's definitely a black quarterback. No, I'm just kidding. That's Brian Hoyer. That is Ooh, Brian Hoyer. That is Brian, Brian Hoyer. Hoyer. <laughs> as soon that as you count, a bald head. Brian Hoyer. Because once you said Browns quarterbacks, I'm like, that's Josh McCown. That's definitely Brian Hoyer. Yep. I believe okay. those are all the Browns quarterbacks. Some of these guys might have played there. I mean, they played for six or seven teams. So what do we so, what do we have? The left? dude on the second second row from the top, all the way to the right. That's got to be an old dude, bro. Oh, yeah. They don't it's take like pictures like picture. that no more. Looks like an yeah. You got. Elway type yeah, era. Four of these dudes don't have, they weren't in the era of like the ESPN headshot. So can okay. I ask a question and sure. potentially So we've an gotten answer? seven, right? Yeah. Sure. Is he black? Who? You have one black guy left and I'll give you a hint. Is he it is second row? Second row middle. Second row middle. Oh, I thought to the, I thought to the right was black. Second, like no. second row at the very top middle? Like seven. yeah. Out of yeah. With the left, helmet on? Seven yeah. yellow? Yeah. yeah, he's the only one with the helmet on. All right, black quarterbacks. Dang. Warren Good luck Moon. with this guy. Warren this Moon. is a guy that I've never heard of. Randall Cunningham. Dante Culpepper. Uh, you guys might know him now. Let me think. Let me think. Because we just said his name? or uh, No, he played in the AFC North. Mm. But it was a long time ago. Like how, how long, long are we talking? Um, Not like that loose? I don't have like his career numbers. I can look him up really quick. Pre- but, like, just like eight. estimate, like. Nine before nineties and before or nineties or after the nineties? Gotta be nineties. Uh, he played from nineteen ninety until two thousand one. Okay, nineteen ninety two thousand one. Hey man, I was just born basically, so that's uh motherfucker. So we're all of us. Let's go, go Matt. Now. Matt was three in nineteen ninety. In the AFC North. Yep. Jeff Blake. No. I don't even know who that F- is. Was it? Well, was that a guess? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You can give us an X. So you got your first strike. <sighs> I'm not going to lie, I wouldn't have known. All right. I'm trying to think 90s of... 90s black quarterbacks in the AFC North. Cordell Stewart. That's <laughs> Did he play in the 90s? Mm, yeah, but he, he played did, after 2001. He did, but he didn't play how many seasons? Two? One? But he said till 2001. Oh, I don't so, you know what think I mean. he made it much farther past... I'm going to go ahead and say, bro. He was in the, the Super Ravens. Bowl in 95. It's did this quarterback Ravens. also play huh? receiver? the Ravens. <laughs> I don't believe so. See? Then he didn't... <laughs> I don't think Cordell. he... He didn't play for seven teams, though. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think. This dude, because he was on the Steelers for a while. You want to skip that one? Yeah, we could try yeah, to get really something going. else if you want. Um, that seven in the in the top. And by left. the way, this is he has been signed to seven teams, not necessarily played a snap. I just, when I looked him up on oh, that's ugly. Um, pro football, he uh, only has five. Uh, so they could have backed up their last like three years on three <clears throat> different teams. Yeah, that's terrible. So Damn, the, the website bro. did say he was signed to seven different teams. Is Colt McCoy on this list? Do you think Browns? Oh, uh, you actually do have a guy that's current still. My dude, Jeff Jeff Blake has played for seven teams. That's crazy. Dang, Jordan, he wasn't on the list. It's all right. I'm, I'm just, just saying, like, media list. Damn, boy. That was a good guess. All right, so Cole McCoy, Cardinals, he Browns. 92 to 05. Bengals? Did he play for the Bengals? Who? Colt McCoy. No. No. No Bengals. No? No Cardinals. Browns. I Commanders. My list stopped Commanders. Commanders. I feel like he's been around. Like Dude's, that. like, 36 and was in the NFL his whole career. Like, he backed up RG3 for a while. Um, to... <clears throat> Dang, I can't believe the list I looked at was Boof. If you guys want, I can give you one for that because Jeff Blake technically is correct. I just don't have him on here. <laughs> oh, damn it, Jordy. Yeah, he went from 92 to 05. And he had a fucking exit tour. And this is excluding kickers because kickers play for a lot of teams. Yeah, I believe so. Um, uh, did we guess Jeff Garcia? No, I don't know how many teams he played for. Remember the old... Raiders quarterback played till like he was 45. You know who I'm talking about? Rich Gannon. Is that who we're talking about? Maybe. How old? I'm, I'm 
I'm trying to think. He like he, he won a super long. He won a Super Bowl. Yeah. Against John Gruden. Or did he lose that Super Bowl? John Gruden win that with Tampa Bay? Do we want to run it? Oh, Brad Johnson? I just remember it's like a it was like some weird fact that this dude played till he's like 45, he's smoking cigarettes on the sideline. <laughs> oh no, 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 that's not this old. I'm let talking me, about let me throw this in here. The list that I got this from. It's from the Sportster. I thought it was 14 players who've played on the most teams. It's just 14 players who have played on more than five teams. Uh, so so it was like a random, random group of like who they thought the most notable. Uh, so is Mike Glennon on there, Dan? Because he played for uh, si- like 16. He's not on this list, no. Okay, because I was about to say, because he's played for at least 16. So teams. I think we should just be free to just spit names then. Yeah, try to stick yeah, with the. Mike we can try to stick with six. the graphic. Yeah, did he play for six? I'm about to say I knew it was five or six. Yeah, that dude oh, in the top left sucks. at number I really seven. I don't know why too. he looks That's like right. Mike Vick, but I know he's not black. <laughs> but I know he's that not. just looks That's like Josh black. Johnson. We already got that one. Oh, that guy is. Yeah, yeah he, that's Johnson. why he looks like Vick. That's uh, why he looks black. What? Because he is. That's crazy. <laughs> you had because you like knew he was black through his silhouette. That's crazy. That sucks. Look at this. This, I apologize. Look at this black dude that he. Sorry for right cussing. There, number seven, you see him? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Look at Jeff Blake. Isn't that wild? That's crazy. As hell? Yeah, that literally looks like him. <laughs> it's what? crazy. Like that picture. There's a picture right on his Google that just looks just like it. No, that is crazy. You're talking about seven that's black and yellow in yeah. the middle there? Yeah, the one. Yeah. So I. Ain't that wild? To give you the him. I was his first yeah. name is Jeff. What but is it's Garcia? Not wait, 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 wait. He's black? Yeah. Jeff Davis. Played in the AFC North. Jeff Jackson. Jeff Smith. I'm just guessing. Stop, stop, stop. Jeff Williams. What team? I'm <laughs> just guessing black Bengals. last names. Who is it? Jeff George. Oh, uh, man. That team, that. Uh, Jeff George is white, ain't he? Sounds white. Not when I looked up Jeff right, George. I think, no, I'm NFL. pretty sure that dude's white. All right, I, think we have I know to who concede, that is, though. I think we have to concede this one for the sake of time. So give Oh, us my God. A- I fucked up. That's not him. Jeff George is white as hell, though. <laughs> Jeff George. I remember right Jeff now. George. That is Jeff Blake. I hate you, Jordan. He does this every Jordan. game. He does this every Jordan. game. I typed his name in. I typed Jeff George twice. Dog. Oh. You just killed the greatest guess ever. <laughs> hey, George. Damn, does this every we got game. double points. You remember when I, I said David that Robinson? That was a double point. You remember we gave us uh, David Robinson, but it was David Thompson. The yeah. one day this chat we do. Hey, Jordan. Oh, bro. I think you deserve a five podcast game suspension, suspension. bro. You're not allowed to. Oh, Someone dang. else come up with games and I'll just make the graphic. Just run down, run down the list then. Yeah, run down the list. All so, right, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, we, we got to run down the list. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, six we on the run. very bottom row. We're running out of time. Yeah, we're running out of time. We just got to run That's down. That's fine. We got list. one more minute. The white. <laughs> I want to see how many points we had first. I had it screenshotted. The it's white over. number six is a current NFL quarterback. There's an asterisk around this game. The white six is a current. Oh, bro, that's a. The white six. He is beloved in one city. No, Big Dick Nick. That is He's Big current? Dick Nick Foles. Okay, so look. How many do we get? One, two, three, four, five, six. We got six, seven, eight total players. One, two, three. You got nine, and one was a bonus point, so you got ten points. Ten points. Fuck it up. We did good. Little bitch really um, fuck it up. On the, the other players you have left in the bottom right... The black and yellow one, that is Kerry Collins. Number six, Kerry Collins, he played for yep. the Giants. Uh, the number seven directly to his left. That cat's hair is fucked up. That's um, Joe Namath. That's Jeff George. Jeff George. Oh, yeah, yeah, His hair was fucked up. Above uh, above Kerry this, Collins. That looks like an old black dude. Is Matt Castle. Matt Castle. Number seven. Damn. The black number seven all the way on the right in the dead center. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was talking about the other the other dude looks like an old uh straight uh to the left of him two over is yeah. Vinny Testaverde. Oh my god. Vinny. That's a crazy picture is that of Vinny. Jets picture? That was another Browns that guy. That was Jets. I couldn't that find any like like he had a bunch of pictures but I couldn't find one that just had like a headshot. Right. Um and then the seven black and gold above Matt Castle is Chris Chandler. Never Damn. heard of him. He needs to fix his hair. Never heard of him. That's what's up. So on this biased game from a website that I thought was giving me facts, but was not. It might have been. You just typed in the wrong name. Yeah. Hey, we know ball. Boys. Yeah, it might have been. We know so ball. we got 10 points. But Derek's- it didn't have uh, 
Dante's guest. Oh, Mike Lennon. Uh, bro, six, Mike Lennon's yeah. my dude, the guest. Because like, yeah. he looked like my dude, Nap. That's why I always remember Mike Lennon. Long yeah, ass wild. neck. Uh, Derek, didn't you have a little gamey game? You want to play it? Yes, no, maybe? Yeah, so? we'll, we'll play a game. We'll call it um, The Price is Right. Okay. Pro Price Roll Edition. How long is this game? I can make it five, ten minutes. Can I, I ask, can make it quick as hell. Can I ask one quick question before we play it? Yep. Because I've seen something wrong, that's very bitch. provocative and I want to ask you guys. Okay, hit me. Did you guys see Anthony Edwards dunk on John Collins last night? <laughs> yeah. Gave yeah. him a concussion, actually. Nasty. Hurt his finger on the rim and everything. Emphatic okay. And traveled jam. like a mother. Hold on. Thing. They always do. Did you see Austin Reeves one? I did see that. He tried to take a charge, though. So yeah, like, but that it, it he was just jumped over. it was it was just bad because like he his dick and balls literally hit Austin Reeves right in the if face. If Reeves would have fell a second sooner, he would have cleared him. He was like, it was like, <laughs> shout out to Austin Reeves. It was man. a full Italian sausage sandwich to the face. My Oklahoma brethren. Um, so I got a question real quick. There was a post on Instagram. Uh, Ev in four. What? What? what you got a problem? Yeah, I didn't finish my, my topic. Oklahoma, I was my Oklahoma brother, in. No. that's my. He's from Oklahoma. I'm not. I'm I got not an Oklahoma that. fan. Yeah. Um, Evan <laughs> Ford said, "You can't name a player with a better poster collection." Talking about Anthony Edwards. That's fried. Blake Griffin. Next. So Blake Griffin has entered the chat. Next. Um, Vince Carter. Vince Carter has entered the chat. LeBron fucking James has entered the chat, bro. If DeMar DeRozan's 360 in the Olympics would have went down, he would have entered the chat. He would have entered Just the chat. His one, one dunk that one. Jason Richardson used to three. dunk on everybody. Let's go back to Matt's era. Sean Kemp. Michael Jordan. <laughs> Uh, okay, go ahead and move on topics here. But yeah, I just wanted to see the list of names people would throw out. That like, there's a lot. Do you think Anthony Edwards does have one of the best poster collections? Or who he's got a you? couple sweet ones, but like for being, I mean, he's been in the league for what a year, two years. Yeah, this is his second year. Yeah, I mean, he's catching bodies. Um, yeah, absolutely. I think but this is his third think, year, ain't it, Anthony? Yeah, in, Anthony Edwards. It's his like third year. I my, mean, John Moran's got a nice poster collection. Yeah. Fat. In well, he opinion, has. Blake Griffin has the best like um, poster collection out of anybody. I'm going LeBron. Brother? Yes. John brother. Morant got the best could have been oh. poster collection. Yeah, over Kevin Love? There's a, uh, there's well, there's a couple. There's just a bunch that he just there's a couple, and he was yes. insane. Fourth it, year. If they go in. Yep, that's about how long I've not been watching the NBA. Oh, God. All right, Derek, let's get to your Price is Right Pro Bowl game before we get out of here. Because I got to leave in like eight minutes. Okay, so this is a test run question. Okay. Test. Teddy Bridgewater. Yep. Your mama. This isn't, I'm going to have you guys guess basically how many Pro Bowls each player has. Okay. But Teddy it's Bridgewater. Price is Right rules. Price is Right rules. Ooh. Price is right, but you can't go over. So whoever's closest is basically. The only thing I know I about the price is right is the price is wrong, bitch. I think, <laughs> I think we should do where you can't get closest without going over. Can I ask you one question? Listen. Are you going to give us the how many years they've been in the league? Or yeah, not? I'll give you that. Sure. Okay. I mean, you if can you want to make the game harder by not giving us that, that's cool too. You can ask. I can give you the, because I took a screenshot of their profile. <laughs> okay. I can All give right. you like the amount of games they played. So okay, that's like a rough it. estimate. Um, yeah, Teddy I Bridgewater. Am, I am curious. Teddy Bridgewater. Zero. Give me his total rushing yard, do you think, in his career? Oh, total rushing yards in his career? Uh, 500. 250. 500, 250? <laughs> you smell what the rock is cooking? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the eyebrow? 375. 844. Damn. Dude was running. So I won. I didn't think he really run. Dude was running. <laughs> I didn't know that either. So... I seen a Teddy Bridgewater. Uh, I get a point. Rushing highlight reel. No, that was every a test. Run. Got that was, hurt. Yeah, it was a test. <laughs> okay, Teddy Bridgewater. What order do you highlights. want? What's easier for you? Yeah, I'm probably uh, over. Uh, probably yeah, Dante, Matt, me, or me, Dante, or me, ahead, Matt, Jordy, Dante. You can take it off. And if both you guys get it right or say the same one, you both get, are going to get the same point. Or do you want to push it? It's up to you. Give it don't matter. Point. Give us a point. 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 Teddy oh. Bridgewater. Bro. Oh. Ah. E. Zero. Okay. One. Okay. Oh shit! Say it again. Me? I yeah. was getting off. I was on pro. You're getting oh, off. Getting off. Hey. Not on the podcast. You forget, boy. <laughs> I was on pro football reference, looking at Mike Lennon, so I didn't want it to look like I was look cheating. One. Uh, I'll say two. Matt gets the point. One Pro Bowl have, for I'm, Teddy Bridgewater. I almost guessed that. What year? Um. Cannot give it to you. I took a screenshot of his profile That's picture. Okay. But it's it's in one of the beginning years with Minnesota. Yeah, for sure. Okay. He had that one really good um, year and then got hurt. We'll give you another one. Maurice Jones-Drew. Mm. 
Wow. One. Two. One. Matt again gets one point. He has three Dang. Pro Bowls and one All Pro for Maurice Jones Drew. He was like a five year dog. Next one. Jordan, you might have an advantage on this one because you just had a game on him. Brandon Marshall. <clears throat> Don't have an advantage. Didn't look at that. <laughs> Pro Bowls, right? Pro Bowls, brother. Pro Bowls, brother. <laughs> uh, six. Okay. I'm going to go seven, brother. I'll go five in case both of them are over. Hey, he just tried a telepathy with Derek. I watched well, it. <laughs> no one is over. Dante gets the point with six. Mm. One, Josh Norman. Ooh. Four. <sighs> three. That's a little high. As soon as I said it, I was three. like, that's too high. I was going to say three, so three. three. Josh Norman has one. Pro Bowl. <laughs> well, we all went over. So me and Jordan get the point? And he was like, no one gets a point. Oh, oh, I mean, price we're going right. to do closest. the Price is Right. Oh, yeah, oh that is over. right. Um, price is wrong. We thought he was nice, too. Clearly like, he, he was, was a notable Well, name. I thought for Pro Bowl, like, he would get just a couple because more of just because of, like, the whole Odell shit. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go guy that played in the AFC North for a little bit. <laughs> CJ Mosley. Three. Stop going one number below me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my guesses before three. it even starts. If you guess three. the same as me, I'm just going to say it. So, three? Yeah. Three? Mm-hmm. He had five. Fuck. So, Jordan, Dante, point. I have, no, I have no idea what the point is. I have when two. I edited, I do. So oh, okay. Fine. That makes sense. So, we're I not going to know who won in two. <laughs> me, and, me and Dante have two. I feel like you should get more of a point if you're the only one that gets it right. Hey, we can't do that now. <laughs> One that this is hurting should be in all of our hearts, Joe Hayden. Farts. Mm. I'm going to give Joe Hayden five. Five. He's going to say five. He smelled the rock is cooking. <laughs> Six. Six? Damn, we really thought Joe Hayden was nice. And he wasn't Josh nice. We all went over fuck. Three for fuck one dang. Joe Hayden. I was thinking. All the time I was, was locking up. I was thinking <laughs> three on the Steelers and then like two on the Browns. Shit, I was thinking like four on the Browns. Nah, he wasn't even there that long, was he? He was there like seven years. It oh, was like half and half. For it was literally yeah. like 50% each. Um, Sterling Shepard. Fuck. One. 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 I had to know. There's only reason he's on the list. <laughs> it's zero. Zero. Oh, <laughs> Shepard, I, got I didn't think so either. I thought me. My thought process was like, he's on the list. He has one. <laughs> yeah, me too. Because Teddy Bridgewater had one. I knew I knew Teddy had a great season. I'll though. give you like two more. Okay. Jay Cutler. Ah, oh, fuck. fuck. Ooh, he's one. got at least one, bro. One. <laughs> ah, fuck my ass, too. I ain't going to do that. <laughs> Three. One for Jay Cutler. Fuck. No. Um, that PP. Good guess. Then it we'll go with one of the smartest middle linebackers of all time. Middle Sean linebackers. Lee. Sean Lee. <laughs> I should get a point for that. <laughs> Damn, bro. How you just telepathy that? That's fire. Um, he, know, he knew why. How many years that. did he play? It was either Sean Lee or Luke Keekley. Because they're white? They're both smart linebackers. Luke Keekley was an insane <laughs> smart, smart linebacker. linebacker. He played 118 games. Uh, Later in his career, he didn't. Van yeah, Der Esch came hurt. in and he wasn't. Yeah, I'm gonna give Sean Lee uh, s- five, <clears throat> two, three. Matt gets a point two for Sean Lee. <laughs> Why did I think Sean Lee was? Yeah! Nice? That's crazy. I think we tied, bro. We might need we one are. more. So we got two more. They're both quarterbacks. It's up to you, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, you. Said you one we more. have to run it. Me and Matt. I think Jordan might be tied with us too. No. All right, two <laughs> more. <laughs> he said no. I mean, this is completely random, though. Like, you really don't know how many Pro Bowls people get. Yeah, some, a lot of them are guesses. Yeah, yeah 100%. <laughs> One that we just brought up as well in the game. He wasn't on there, but Colt McCoy. Pro Bowls? Pro Bowls. One. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Pro Bowls? Zero. It had to be fan voted by the Browns. He got one, Yeah, bro. bro. One. He got one. Zero. No, God damn it. Call me, betray me. <laughs> you bad. All right, good game, guys. Last one, Tyrod oh, Taylor. Oh, shit. Tyrod, Tyrod Taylor. Taylor. Last one. You're about to fuck me again. I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I've done this every time, and I've picked one, and it's been zero.
and I'm going to pick zero this time, and it's going to be one. So I'm going one. <laughs> okay. One. One. Zero. It's zero. It's one. Oh, I'm no. sorry, Jordan. That's still one. <laughs> Everybody uh, else said one. I figured I had to at least try. But I just thought it was like a fun little game. Nah, that, that was fun. Like, we, just we should keep doing that, though. Like, yeah, we should start like a series with I was going to do NBA mixed with it, but that would have been weird. All right, listen. Before we get out of here, um, I I'm, want to apologize for uh, I know on ball. behalf of me and Matt. I know, Bo. Um, oh. We both had uh, Alabama in our top five college teams a few weeks ago. Um, <laughs> we fucked up. But listen. They're still going to make it to the Sweet 16. That was though. prior to them losing to Florida, Kentucky, Tennessee, all of those teams. Listen, we led you guys astray. I apologize. That was a time where I couldn't have been more wrong, and I accept the fact that I was wrong. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Barbershop Break Room. Derek one, has something else. One moment, brother. Go ahead, brother. I got one more thing, brother. Matt, I just want to hear you. You got your Steelers QBs. Ran a little bit about it. Let me. I want to hear how can you, I leave how you for feel that? about it. You can leave. Can I leave for that? You can leave. I yeah. don't want to hear it. <laughs> That's fine. I'm leaving, brother. I'm leaving, brother. You out? Yeah. All right. Dante's out. Do you have to grab shit? My jacket. Dude. Uh, Dude. Bro, put uh, the camera over there real quick. Dink. Put, put the on camera me. on you. Let, Jordan, Jordan, let Jordan go first. Oh yeah, yeah. Jordan. You give yeah, us ahead, give brother. us how you feel, Kenny Pickett, brother. Oh, my God. I don't want to buy another jersey. <laughs> Yeah. Like I, I really, I really think I'm just gonna start. Motherfucker, only, I'm buying two. I think I'm only <laughs> gonna buy legends or like dudes that uh just have been there forever. Like T.J. Watt. I don't think that I'm ever gonna buy another. Uh, oh, we got a new quarterback. Let me buy his jersey because then it ends up looking like this fucking thing. Where like I got nothing to nothing to do with it, but throw it away. Damn. Yeah, it's the Browns. You just make it like a t-shirt and turn it turn it into a cutoff. <laughs> yeah, that would be badass. Just go to the gym with the Steelers <laughs> cutoff. Pick it. <laughs> Start cutting the grass with the Wait, what, what number is Patrick Queen wearing? Six. Fuck. Yeah. Whoever what switches to eight on our team, I'm going to just get the back of the jersey switched. Just rip off the letter. It'll probably be whoever our rookie is that comes in. Rookie receiver. Rookie quarterback. Or Keon Coleman. I think he was eight. Don't ask me. How do yeah. you feel about the Steelers? Okay, uh, I'm fucking insanely geeked. I'm hype. How do you think? I'm, I'm fucking ready. I, Dude, I ate for some reason, I just, after Justin Fields, we signed Russ immediately. And after Justin Fields wasn't going anywhere, I'm like, dog, we're getting both of them. Like, it's going to happen. And I don't know. I And Arthur Smith's new offense, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. If you see both of them on the field at the same time, so telling like, you that right now. So Johnny Manziel and Josh McCown, they're going to be doing some crazy <laughs> shit. Because you remember when Johnny Manziel did the fake run out, lined up at receiver and threw a dart to him on the sideline. Some yeah, shit bro. Like that I, with Justin I, Fields. I, yeah, I don't. I don't know, man. Arthur Smith's the type of guy that would make I don't Russ know, be the receiver. <laughs> Hopefully, he has his head on straight. You, you're going to see. Some read options to Justin, I think. You're going to see some trick plays with him on the field. Russ on the field as a decoy. Justin on the field Whoa. as a decoy. What? I'm just imagining read option with Justin Fields in the backfield. But, like, he, like, pitches it back so he can still throw it. <laughs> that should be insane. Justin might just come on for a read option with with Najee or Jalen Warren. And you just never he, – he's a fucking quarterback. He can stop and throw that bitch, too. And a running back. Both. He's both of them. And a receiver, maybe. Both of them. Both of them. So I, I, I'm really hyped. I'm excited to see what happens. I'm actually like so hyped that I thought about next year and it gave me immense anxiety that they both only have one year. That's what I was So I don't ask know you. what the fuck is going to happen after this year. But obviously, we have to just like let this year play out and see what happens. If so you, Russ did say that him and the Steelers plan on making a long term deal after the season. My dude's 35. I don't know what type of long-term deal we're thinking here. He wants them Brady So numbers. we'll see what happens. Uh, I still have faith in Russ to actually play decent. He had a great year last year, but I just, to me, he comes in. He's kind of like a, like a bridge, helps Justin, does his thing, stuff like that. Depending on how he plays, like say he has a decent season. He could go somewhere else and get a nice contract. You know what that I mean? That means a QB. Exactly. Or say he has like just 
Is he? He's not Kirk? trash, but he's just like okay. Is he at the Kirk Cousins level right now? To where like if he plays good, he still might not be on that team. He just goes somewhere else. Maybe, but I feel like if he has like if he's not trash and he's just like barely hanging on, we go like five hundred shit like that. He might stay around and just Justin might start and see what happens. But I wouldn't be surprised if the Steelers pay Justin. I was gonna say if you had to put money on it, how do you think it's gonna play out after this season? What would you? What's what's the perfect Steelers scenario, and what do you think is gonna happen? I, honestly, the perfect scenario, I have no fucking idea <laughs> because I don't know how both of them are gonna play in a different system. Um, I think the scenario that's gonna happen in my head is that Russ plays well. Um, not super good, but uh, he plays well. Goes get a, goes and gets a contract from another team. We re-sign Justin to a long-term deal, and that's our future quarterback. That's what happens in my head. Best best case. That's scenario not even best case. That's just what I think is going to happen. I think that's best case scenario for the Steelers. Too. Absolutely. I think best case would be Russ plays great, signs another like one-year deal. Justin still stays. We sign. We for some reason sign both, and he can just get one more year of kind of like grooming and like maybe yeah. I mean, and then, you never and then turns into a dog. That because what Mitch did when he went to the Bills after the Bears, he sat behind Josh, Josh Allen, Allen and turned and into then, a piece and then of went dog to shit. you guys. If Russ plays great and you guys resign him, Justin might be like, "All right, I'm." He'll probably I'm bounce. Gonna, gonna go start Which somewhere. I, hopefully, hopefully, I don't want that to happen because Justin is a future quarterback. Russ is a bridge. win now guy. Just for a, you. Russ is a bridge, dude. Yeah, like. He's literally a bridge. I'm not going to lie. When I, I was in my kitchen, when I saw the Justin Field shit break, and I almost dropped to my knees. I was like, fuck, dude. I'm like, why in the hell did these dudes keep getting players for nothing? Nothing. I stood up in the middle of Condado's. We were at dinner. <laughs> and I you was like. the tacos out going crazy? Let's fucking go. Courtney was like, what the fuck are you doing? And I was like. <laughs> and I looked at MJ and I said, MJ. We got Justin Fields. Was he freaking out? He stood up and said, <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I mean, dude, as a Browns fan, I was contemplating if I still wanted to root for the Browns after all that <laughs> shit was happening. I'm like, dude, the rich just keep getting richer somehow. And like, well, we weren't rich to start the offseason. No, but this was supposed to be you guys to be in QB hell. They yeah, had like no hope at all. like being down. You guys were supposed to. Kenny Pick was maybe going to be the starter. You guys looking for other people, whatever. You're not supposed to get a MVP caliber. Used to be Russ. He still plays great. Or future potential quarterback in Justin Fields. You're supposed to be shitty and not finding that quarterback. And that's what I was hoping until I saw all these fucking trades come out. And I'm like, bro, like, I seen what thing, can we uh, even do? I seen a thing that said Mitch Trubisky got to hate that motherfucker Justin Fields, dude. Took his job in Cleveland yeah, takes his <laughs> or in Chicago. A couple years later, <laughs> takes his job in Pittsburgh. Yeah. He did, said, if I was Mitch, did. I'd hate that motherfucker. Um, I have a weird situation where I think how it's going to play out. I think Russ is going to play decent. But I think there's going to be times to where he's just not doing enough, kind of like Kenny. Like, he takes he took care of the ball, but he just wasn't doing what he needed. I think that's what Russ might end up doing. Steelers fans, you know how you guys are. You're gonna yeah. start oh, yeah. chanting. That, it's all fans. Yeah. Everyone's like that. But more I mean, recently, you guys, you've, you've yeah. known it. Oh yeah, for, for sure. The past year, That's what happened with Tyrod and Baker? When it's gonna Tyrod fake that injury. Yeah, it's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> with Russ, he's gonna not play good. Steelers are gonna want Fields in. Arthur Smith gonna feel forced. Fields goes in. and He plays. I. That's what I think's gonna uh, yeah, happen. Yeah, I. To me, in my eyes, best case scenario is barring any injury. Uh, barring any injury, I. Don't want to see Justin Fields as the starting quarterback this year. I I think I can see him coming on the field, like I said, and playing stuff like that. But like, I think he should just really take in this year with the organization, with the OC, try to like take in all the information that he can get in preparation to be the future of the franchise. You know what I mean? What's Russ's uh, line now? What does he say? Here we go. Here we go. It's, it's that's Fiddler, the Steelers, Steelers. Yeah. Steelers thing. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Um, um, there's one thing about 
the whole situation that I think needs addressed, and it's the locker room. Um, if I'm Justin Fields and I'm a backup for a year, my contract is up. I can go wherever I want after the season. If this, you know, I'm not saying George Pickens is the problem or whatever, but if you have guys in the locker room arguing and it's just not like a good vibe in the locker room, he's not going to want to stay. Right. And Russ is one of them dudes too that like, it's got to be a really good locker room where he's just shutting it the fuck off from everybody. I mean, that's so, usually what we're. We've been usually pretty decent at our history, not, the last few years yeah, has been a little but, iffy, but usually I mean, Mike keeps Deontay, everything under control. I love Deontay Johnson. I don't think he's going to do anything in Carolina. I don't think, but he, I think you put any, yeah, I feel bad for my I say guy. You put a top five receiver in there. I don't think they're going to do much with what they I, have. I think that he was a part of the locker room problems. He complained a lot. He kind of started a lot of shit. Um, him and Minka went back and forth in the locker room. They said that they had to be separated and stuff. So, like, I, I don't know. But I, I, I mean, dog, like, look at our offense I the mean, past three years. It's yeah. been terrible. But I think for for this season, like, I think a main concern off the field would be to like just kind of keep everybody's. Oh, for sure. And keep like, everybody like Mike. Keep at everybody in face to face level. Buy him Black Air Force Ones again. No, let's stay away from the Black Air Force <laughs> yeah, Ones. That we want White Air problem. Force One energy. <laughs> no, but for real, though, Is I that really... racist? <laughs> ah. Dante ain't here. You can't deny I don't him. know. <laughs> um, I don't know. Yeah, uh, I just think... Like, go back and... I have mad props for Dante, Deontay. Um, I mean, dude went a whole year without scoring a touchdown. And he didn't and really still he, like he there was like a huge yeah there huge was deal. minor shit about it but like I got props like but you're supposed you had, to be wide receiver one and you didn't have a touchdown all year you have a hundred receptions and you don't get a touchdown he you're like fuck that, dude he went through that season of having the drop season came back and had a good year yeah, dude like, after that he was top two in the league in not like non drops yeah in, yeah like Jacoby so the, Myers the one thing one. that That's I do want to say like, I don't think he was I see a lot of Steelers fans on Twitter. Since we traded Deontay, now like pulling stats up and shit, trying to talk shit on him. Just as people like Bears fans that love Justin he's Fields. He's very un- underappreciated. Be- the Bears fans that love Justin Fields, he comes to Pittsburgh and now they're saying like, oh, he can't throw the ball, whatever. Same thing with Steelers fans, bro. Yeah. If you go statistically over the past three years, Deontay has the most drops in the NFL. That's cool. He was our wide receiver. That one, one year. And it was all because of one year. Yeah. Like his next two seasons, he was great last year. I just. Yeah, man. I I, hate when like you have a player, everybody's rooting for them to become better. They become better and then they leave. And now you're like, oh, that dude sucks. Yeah. I don't know, man. I just for him for the, like, I know he was on your team, but it's not like he went out with like bad blood or anything. Like he was. I mean, that ain't crazy. He got traded. It just is what it is. I don't know how. 2022, Reputable zero Fox receiving Sports touchdowns, bro. But his drop, 6, 13, 5, 7, 2. That ain't crazy. Like, Kadarius Tony probably beat that in one year. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's what. That, like, I think that's it, not, I mean, thir- you dropped 13 balls in one year, but you had. That was the drop C season. But he had yeah. 144 tar- targets and 88 receptions. Oh, he, he got thrown the ball a shitload. That's his, I guess, third most percentage wise in catching. Yeah, that's third wild. best percentage catching wise. But dude, like, like look at the numbers like that. He's a great receiver in a shit offense. Like our offense was dog shit. Great yeah. route runner. Adam Thielen. Yeah, that and I like really I was looking forward to that. Like Russ having someone that can just get open right away. Like that quick curl. No matter what him. you say about <laughs> Deontay, that dude can get open with the best in the league. Like yeah. his routes are nuts. Well, depending on what you give him. You know what I'm yeah, saying? If you're running Matt Canada, hey, two yard in run two yards and turn around. Like, what are you supposed to do? Damn. 2020 he had 16 targets in a, in a playoff game. I just thought that was crazy. That was against the... But do you no, think, that was against the Chiefs when we were just throwing it. Yeah. Yeah. So that was Ben's that, last year. I know he's gone now. Um, do you think that getting like a, a true clear-cut wide receiver one like puts us over the hump where we're like potential AFC champs? I'll answer that for you. I think you guys are Super Bowl contenders with a good receiving core. I think like if you guys get a real number one, you got George Pickens as number two. I'm saying like I say think you guys could, are Super Bowl contenders like, with that. A lot of the talk right now is the Steelers are talking to the Bills about Stephon Diggs. 
We need a wide receiver. I know that he's a diva and wants the ball, but like if he comes to us and for some reason isn't that way, like I don't Tom think he'll get one. I mean, you just got to get your. I don't think you he'll get, get the targets. I mean, you get your players to buy and you say, "Hey, look at all the talent around you. You're not going to get, you right. know, that many touches. We're all here for one reason. We're going to win a Super Bowl." Right. You got to. You just want to watch the fucking in. confetti fall. The other team's confetti <laughs> yeah. fall or your yeah. confetti fall. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but like I'm saying, do you think Steelers get Stephon Diggs? Is that like a I Absolutely, think, and I don't yeah. even think I honestly one thousand percent. I'm not being biased at all. I don't think we even need a Stephon Diggs. I think we need a very, very Calvin good, Ridley. like a fringe wide receiver one, wide receiver two. We get that, I because like, then we'd have two like I, fringe I, wide receiver ones. Yeah, that's what I mean. Did I don't you come think back? I could see that. I just don't trust his knees. Mm. But yeah, I don't know if I like that. I like it because I also don't know who Arthur else Smith is. loves to run. It, I watched like a lot Four of dudes. Receivers. Two. He likes Spread. to run a lot of two receiver sets. Just two receivers. He runs two running backs, like run the ball, let your two receivers get open, do the work with two tight ends as well. So you got Pat and Darnell would yeah. be your two. That's, so, I mean, you guys, you guys are solid at every position. You got two great running backs and that bigger, you can split. bigger receivers that can block is what he like. That's why Mike. I think that's why Mike Williams is coming on this visit. He's a big physical receiver. I was gonna say, who's your receivers besides George Pickens right now? Calvin Austin, your two. Yeah, you ain't got. I mean, nothing. we have somebody behind and, him, but no, not. we got you're looking George like, Pickens, Calvin Austin, Van Jefferson. You're looking like the Browns with Rashard Higgins. Type it's, shit. Yeah, right it's now. no good right now. We need a receiver <laughs> bad. Yeah, I, um, there's not. Many, not too many left. Not many left. That's for sure. We could bring back. Uh, we could I, bring back Chase Claypool. I Loki don't want to sign Mike Williams. I don't want to sign Mike Williams I wanna, because I, I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna stay healthy. I, that's what I would say. I hope you guys don't do. sign him for the name Mike Williams. So, yes. Well, that's Which what a lot I'm hoping we don't do for that reason. Some of the older guys, Michael Thomas. Yeah, don't um, sign somebody Odell, for the name. So, I don't want those guys. Would you guys like? That that's your draft picks this year. Twenty will be a receiver if we don't get one. Yeah. So and, would you or trade, a center? Would you trade your first round and second round for a top tier receiver? <sighs> or would you rather just <sighs> wait it out? We need so a it, center really because bad like if too. you were to trade, there was talks Justin Jefferson, there were talks Stephon Diggs. That's really all you got to trade because what other players are you going to give up? Yeah, you would, we'd have to give up a first next year too. Yeah, yeah. Would, if we got, wanted Justin Jefferson, we'd have to lose our first this year and next year. And for sure, if I'm the other picks and maybe a player, if I'm the Vikings, I'd do it because they're going to be rebuilding. I yeah, don't even know rebuilt. why they signed Aaron Jones, but I mean, we're going to need realistically for a trade to work with the Vikings. You would need both first round this year, first round next year, maybe first round the year after too. I mean, he's he's consensus clear cut three wide receiver top three. one in the NFL. Yeah. Um, Probably have to give up a couple seconds, thirds, whatever. It would look like a Deshaun Watson trade. Okay, so listen, we have it, yeah our defense is set right he now, it and we'd have to throw a player in. I don't think that they our would just defense give is pretty much picks, a young dude. Who <laughs> I don't know. Who. Our defense is pretty much set, right? Maybe yeah. a safety. That's what kept, that's you guys won games off your defense last yeah, year. Yeah, maybe that's bring in a bring, bring in like a safety. We already brought in Patrick Queen. Cole Holcomb's coming back. Quan Alexander's probably coming back. Your whole front seven. You know nasty, what I'm saying? The though. whole front's still coming back. Cam Hayward's still there. We got we got the the corner for uh for Deontay Johnson, Dre Jackson or something. Or Jair. No, it's like Dre Dre Jackson. Or is it Dante Jackson? Something. The old guy? Old corner for the Steelers? No, we just got him. Deshaun Elliott. Like you picked him up in no, free in agency. the trade. No, in the trade for Deontay Johnson. Yeah, Deshaun Elliott. Oh no, Desha- bro. The dude from the, the Panthers. I think it's like Dre Jackson or Dante Jackson. Dante Jackson. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. So we got him at corner. Josh uh Joey Porter Jr. at the other corner. We just need another safety, man. I don't want to ride with Kazee. He has a sack in his career. <laughs> uh, we so did most get, of the time he's playing Elliott, like nickel. Who's a, he's a safety. Yeah, Deshaun um, Elliott, we got him. He played for Dolphins last year. He had a a nice stop on Tony Pollard right at the Yeah, that line. was crazy. And then he had another one that he forced a fumble, but they recovered in the end zone. He, I think he's going to be like a Arthur Mollette type of, a Mike um, Hilton type of position. I did see like, 
he's fully buying in though. Which oh yeah, I, he I loves love the Steelers. Team. Like yeah. they said, what what made you yeah, sign and he here? Pointed he to pointed to the logo, the logo, and yep. said this is championship football. Like I wanted to play here. Yeah, so I'm excited about that. Uh, our defense is set. Our offense, we're like we need a center. Um, I'd love another offensive tackle as well, but. If you trade away your two picks, you're not going to get that. You ain't going to, yeah. So, so that's, you're kind of choosing what you want to. Yeah. You ho- you hopefully trust Russ to. In, you guys bring in, oh my God, a couple of free agent rod receivers that are I. Yeah. In my head, you draft Russ somebody. Elevates them. Yeah. yeah. If, in my head, you draft some, you draft a receiver with probably like the second pick. I'd love to take a, uh, like a Mims at the first pick. Steep threat. No, Mims. The art, uh, is like it Arthur? Arthur's Mims? No, like Arthur Mims or something like that. He's oh, Georgia you, oh, offensive okay, tackle. Okay. I thought you meant like in the uh, draft. A dude like Mims in on, the draft. No, the no, 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 no. We need to take like uh, that offensive tackle in the draft or Jackson Powers Johnson center in the draft. And then second round, grab the best receiver available. I was going to say, do we have a center? No, Mason Cole's no. gone. Like we don't have anybody. Mitch Morse would have been a huge sign. Yeah. But we so I want us to do something real quick. Just. We have time. Hit me. Um, way too early. Super Bowl contenders as of right now. Okay, well, I think you can obviously put in Bills, Chiefs, well, we'll go Ravens. We'll, we'll just go. I'll just right. say the Let name. We'll just say your name. I gotta, I gotta pee real, real quick. quick. While right. you're peeing, Derek, we can talk about this. The Browns? Um, I had a guy arguing with me on one of our... One of our posts, it was your guys' post, actually. Darren Jones Where you were rebuilding or redrafting the the 2018 draft. And this guy said that he does not believe Minka is a top five safety in the league. Yeah, that's crazy. He gave me his top five. I don't know if you guys were arguing with him. He said, I thought I gave you my top eight. He didn't give it to me. I didn't look at the He was arguing with me, but I wasn't arguing trying to defend Minka. Um, (laughs) I I obviously was. He's a Browns fan, and I said, like, personal biases ruin the way people look at football players. They do. But you kind of have to set those to the side. And he said, listen, just me personally, my top five safeties in no order are Jesse Bates, Buda Baker, Antoine Winfield, Justin Simmons, and Kyle Hamilton. Which I like. I like Justin Simmons. I like Kyle Hamilton. I I said, how are you going to leave Hufanga out of there? You're leaving Derwin James out of there. Like Derwin James fell out a little do bit. Do you think Buda Baker's better than them? You think Buda Baker's better than Derwin though? Buda Baker's on a shitty team. Like it's I, but we it's, I like he said that same thing too. But we always we fault players for being on a bad team all the time. So you can't when you're talking about Buda Baker be like, well, he's on a bad team. We fault players for being on bad teams. Or I don't bad think we should. I don't think time. we should, is we what I'm shouldn't. saying. But if you fault one, you have to fault everybody. I'm not faulting one. But I don't have a top five in my head, but top five, like not in order, of course. I think Justin Simmons has to be there. I think Kyle Hamilton. I think Minka. Um, I like Antoine Winfield a lot. That number five is up for debate. I really don't. I don't care who is at that five spot. Hufanga is a nice one at five. Um, yeah, yeah. I, that that five's up for debate, but I think those four that I just is, said, I feel like in a, should be in the top five. A, a top three Minka's like a lock. Yeah, I, I just feel obviously. I mean, you're looking at me wearing a Steelers jersey. It's biased, but I I don't know many other safeties in the NFL that are better than him. And he said, "When's the last time Minka made an impact at Alabama?" I was like, "No, <laughs> Minka impacts every game." Like. He plays with a mediocre secondary besides Joey Porter Jr. last year. And the corners are able to kind of like, I don't want to say they're able to continue to play bad because of him, but like it's not as big of a problem because he's back there playing center field. Yeah, I, I, that dude, he's a Browns fan, but I think he's totally wrong on that part. Like, he was the one arguing with me the same thing that Pro Bowls and All Pros are the same thing too. So I'm like, eh, not really. Yeah, I just, uh, I don't know. Um, like I said, I told him, you don't have to hate him just because Nick Chubb got injured on a play he was involved in. I was like, if you want to hate him, that's fine, but you can't. Yeah, I mean. Uh, you can hate a player and still think they're a great player. I don't like, hate Minka. I hate that what happened, and I don't think he meant to 
for that to happen. I don't think he's a dirty player. No. Um, but, but here, I mean, what we're going to, I think I'm just going to end the podcast here and this is going to be extra bonus content for like another separate video, what we're going to do. All right. So do you want to outro us? Or do you I'll want outro us. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Episode 75, 74, 75, I think. Until next time, I ain't Dante, but peace out. Peace out, brother. <laughs> See you, brother. Um, Bye, brother.